Hello fellow mothers, Bruce here. In this short video I'm going to show you how I fabricate my own stirrup steps in HO and HON3 from brass wire. Um, I first found the need to do this <clears throat> excuse me, when I was uh, scratch building uh, cars for my uh, car certificate in the National Model Railroad Association like this uh, car here and if you look at the end here you will see one of the stirrup steps that I made out of brass wire and another one on this side of the car which I think you can see but anyway I'll show you how to make those so let's talk about uh, some tools and equipment first and then we'll do the video in HO scale, I have found that uh, starting out with a 19 thousandths diameter brass wire and flattening it out <coughs> makes a decent stirrup step. I think if I was going to make it in uh, N scale, I would start with this uh, 19 thousandths and see how it looked, but you could drop down to 17 thousandths if you can find that diameter. Uh, or even down to maybe 15 thousandths, which I know Detail Associates does supply. And in O scale, I'd probably bump it up to 22 thousandths. But uh, wire is the raw material. I made a jig <coughs> out of styrene. I wrote myself a note since I only use this thing, you know, once every other year or so, uh, that I use 0 0.019, 19 thousandths wire. Uh, the jig is simply a base of styrene with two strips of styrene, styrene spaced apart as far as I want the uh, width of the stirrup step to be and the thickness going down, how uh, long if you, if you want, I want the stirrup step to be. And I use that to form the stirrup steps and I'll show you how. And taped to the back is a, a piece of styrene that I don't like to have to try to find all the time. Uh, once I put my wire on top of this jig, I come down first with this and push it down to start forming the U of the stirrup step. But that video I'm going to show you will give you more information on that. So this took me, what, three minutes to make? So, yeah. It pays if you're going to make your own stirrup steps. Uh, I will need a pair of uh, cutting pliers to cut the stirrup steps to the right length in the end. I have two tools besides this piece of styrene to help me form the uh, stirrup step down in that jig. And one is this pair of needle nose pliers, which is uh, narrow enough to fit between those two. And the other one is a very small flat blade screwdriver to do the same thing. Again, their use is shown in the video. To take the round wire and make it into a strap, I use a small hammer. It does not have to be a ball peen hammer, but I like this little guy. It was my dad's and uh, um, I like to use it for this purpose. And you need a flat uh, surface of uh, metal that you can uh, tap on to uh, flatten out the wire and again that's shown in the video. So that's the material in the tools and uh, when we return you'll see me make uh, some stirrup steps. When you're done making them and you affix them to or even before you put them on the car you can either uh, darken them with something like blacken it or gun blue or just quite frankly paint them the color you want them to be. All right talk to you again soon. Hey, uh, in this segment, I just want to show how I make these uh, stirrup steps out of uh, brass wire. Um, here you can see it's basically formed already, and I just need to cut it off uh, about here, and then we can glue it to the underside of that uh, critter's frame. So let's see how we go ahead and make that. I'm starting with uh, some details west. Uh, brass wire number 2506, which is uh, 0.019 uh, inches in diameter. Um, 
which will give me a fairly fine, when I flatten it, uh, stirrup step, which I think will look good on this model. So I simply take a piece of that wire, <clears throat> put it over the uh, anvil part of my, uh, in this case I'm using the back of my vise, and uh, taking a small hammer I start just peening it flat and you eyeball it until you get two things, about the right width and uh, even along the whole length, and it doesn't take long. It's funny, I uh, originally saw this uh, approach to making stirrup steps from a, a great old modeler, a real master in the New Jersey, named Ira Deutsch. And I met Ira when he was already up in his uh, 80s. And uh, he showed me a bunch of scratch-built uh, cars that he had made, rolling stock. And I said, you know, where do you get those stirrups up? He said, well, I make them out of brass wire. And I said, well, you know, is there a technique? Uh, how, do we, how do you get it so even and uh, uniform? And his answer <laughs> sticks with me t till today. He says, practice. So there was no secret, it was practice, practice, practice. All right, so I have it about the way I want it. Now this is a simple little jig, uh, which is on a styrene base and two pieces of styrene and with giving me the depth and the width of the uh, stirrup step. Let me uh, get my vise out of the way a minute and just put this down on the, on the wood. And take this new piece of flattened wire and put it across. Make sure that you can see this. Let's get down here. There you go. So you lay this uh, piece of flattened brass wire across those that gap, and I take a. Another piece of styrene, which is just about the right width to go down there, and I press it down. I'll get this flattened a little bit. Okay, get both ends flattened a little bit. Remove this, and now I shape the bottom better by first coming in here with a pair of needle nose pliers and pushing it down into the jig and then finally coming back with a screwdriver about the same width and what I'm trying to do is get that base somewhat squared instead of rounded you can reassert it reinsert it so it is not a problem but uh, Basically, there is your stirrup step. So you just, uh, you can tidy up and try to make that a little squarer again by just, you know, putting this on either a piece of wood or metal and pushing down with your uh, screwdriver blade. And then you'll cut the tails off a little bit on each side. You don't need anywhere near that length and that's what you're going to add your glue to. And then glue it on the underside of the, uh, in, in my case, the critter's frame. That's all there is to making those out of brass wire. So there we have it after probably no more than about 15 minutes work uh, transforming brass wire into some stirrup steps. Um, you can see here I have enough for uh, two cars and a spare. Um, that used up a partial uh, strip of wire that I had in it's not bad to have a spare in case one of those goes flipping off your tweezers into the netherworld. But uh, yeah, it's uh, fairly easy to make a decent looking stirrup step. And these just get uh, a dab of gel type ACC in each of those positions right there on those legs. And then push it up against the bottom of the uh, car, hold it in place for uh, you know, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, and boom. On to the next one.
Okay, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet done so, please subscribe to the channel. Talk to you again soon.